the body uh, next next step to the body. One of my subscribers will ask for the technique, so I'm going to explain it. We will uh, we'll go for it. First, when your opponent is having uh, a knife or any weapon, it's very important to uh, maintain the distance. Okay. So in a real fight, it may go uh, differently. Okay. Uh, how we practice uh, may not work in real fight sometimes. But you should be ready for everything. If you miss some technique, you should know how uh, what is the next. Okay. So I will also explain that. First, I will explain how to do the technique. Then I will explain how if you miss a technique, how you can manage after that. Okay. So if you see your opponent having a knife or something, first thing you have to do is go and stop his hand, which I hand is uh, holding the weapon. Okay. If you miss that, okay. So, uh, if you know that your opponent is having a weapon, first you stop and you know elbow or something, then you try to disarm them first. Okay. That's one technique. Just a one technique. Right? If you if you yeah. Uh, don't know he is having a weapon or if he is acting before you go and catch his arm. Start. So this is how he is going to start. Okay, now this is the distance. Uh, even if it is with weapon or without weapon, okay, if you want to defend first, okay, uh, if your opponent is starting the attack and you want to defend and go further, you must know the distance and you should act only after he started the movement and he is already in 50% on the way. Okay, for example, if you start it, now this is 50%. Okay, from here to here, this is 50% distance. Okay, so you have to act after 50%. Otherwise, if you start, start moving like this, he may go different. Okay, so I'm doing this, so he know uh, I'm already moving, so he can change the technique if he is very good. Okay, so after. After 50% you should start no, uh, acting, uh, you should do blocks or anything, okay, from here. So, move, you always keep the distance even if you miss the block, okay. So, your hand is like this, you don't miss the block, but start. If you do the uh, lattice block like this, you can go further, you can just go for the next technique, okay. Even if you try to punch or something, it's very risky, okay. So, energy flow is very important, do that. I block, okay, I go inside immediately. Okay, always enter immediately after you block. So now I control this arm. See, I can do arm work from here. I can turn this, I can take the knife and cut. Okay. Okay, again. So when I block, I block with my back side of my arm, not front side. I already told in a, in a video again. So if I do this, he may, when he take, take back the knife, he may cut uh, all nerves. So it's dangerous. So you use the back hand. Okay, you can go with the strike when you block himself. Okay, so if you give more time, he will act differently. Okay, okay. So how? Okay. okay, so see, it's already controlled. Okay. So if you are, in, if you are not expected, okay, it's act, if it is happening very quickly, okay, he may be very fast. Tap, 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 like that. Okay, try to do this and this. Okay, so don't. Okay, anyway I am block, blocking whatever he does. Okay, because I am covering my center and going entering very fast. Whatever happens. Okay, so first, first of his move is this. So I want to see. Okay, so I am covering my center. I am entering him inside. Okay, so what I am going to do? I am going to bang his chest. Okay, so that is the important thing. Okay. Okay, now it's here, it's, it's, you cannot cut, so I'm going to control this arm from here. Okay, now try to take the knife. Okay, also I'm controlling So whatever attack he is doing, different attack also. See, I'm, okay, the same attack, see I go, I'm always covering the center and going in. So it's wrong. Okay, you see, arm up. Okay, then rush down. Okay, then I take the knife. Okay, if you control this center, then you will have little more time than the normal timing. Okay, so you can easily take the disarm your opponent. Okay, also you can give some strikes before you disarm. Okay, I'm not doing strikes now. 
and also doing strike out money. Okay, attack to the face. See, this will take you some time, give you some time. Then this. See, I can do the same. Okay. Like that, I can. So, plenty of techniques you should learn and practice. You should make it as your muscle memory. So, your body will automatically fight. Okay. So, I hope this video was helpful for you. Meet you in my next video. Until then, bye bye from Guru Mani